Hey everybody, and welcome back to another vid from Danaco Blue 43. And today we're going to be taking a look at the Fireball Beach Race 4 pack from the Car Street Diecast line. And this is my second gift pack review for Car Street Wise. And the first one was the Desert Race 11 pack. And coincidentally, this one also comes with an exclusive Rusty's Racing Center Light McQueen, but it is a Sandy Rusty's Racing Center Light McQueen. And on top of that, this actually also comes with a a Cruz Ramirez, Sandy Cruz Ramirez, and a fun fact is I really recommend getting this set because so far all of these in the set, all the four here, are relatively new slash have new features. Not new characters, but they're all new releases. They have new features to them, and all of these four are only available in this four pack right now, which are of course Guido, not Guido, Luigi with Checkered Flag, Sandy Cruz Ramirez, and Rusty's Racing Center Light McQueen, and Guido with Rusty's Racing Center Tool Car. So, this is a very awesome pack, and I really do recommend buying it. If you guys do not know, it is only at Target, as you can see on the lower right-hand corner. It does state that it's only at Target. So, anyway, let's get right into the review of this awesome desert. I'm not desert. <laughs> Fireball Beach Race 4-pack. So, as you can see, I love the gold look to it. It's very nice. You have that gold design if you guys know what i'm saying it's really nice and modern i guess you can call it and as you can see it says first look at sandy rusty's racing center light mcqueen and first look at cruz ramirez as a sandy version on the back, they show you the correct to find names of these characters that are in this pack. You have Sandy Cruz and Maris, Rusty's Rating Center Light McQueen, Sandy Rusty's Rating Center Light McQueen, I mean. Guido with Rusty's Rating Center Tool Car and Luigi with Checker Flag. Right here, it mentions Recreate Scenes from Cars 3. Right here, it says Fireball Beach Race 4 Pack. And if you want to read that little description for this gift pack, you can pause and read if you'd like. Alright, so that's everything I need to say, so let's take the Fireball Re Beach Race 4-pack out of the package. So here we have all the cars out of the gift pack, and they look stunning out of the gift pack. So we'll first start with Guido with Rusty's Racing Center Tool Car. Then we'll move on to Luigi with Checker Flag. Then we'll move on, we'll, we'll save the first look cars, which are these two. For last, so let's move these off to the side along with Guido with Checkered Flag. So now let's move on to Guido with Rusty's Racing Channel 2 car. So here's Guido, and as you can see, he has this nice happy expression on his face. Looks very happy to be a part of Team McQueen. And as you can see, he has this little drill, which he probably does to take out the tires. Of course, you need to drill the bolts out, I assume. I'm not a racing expert, but I do know that for a fact. And I believe this is also on the pit crew member Guido version from Cars 1. He also has these nice light green fenders as well. He's a three-wheel car because obviously he's a four Forklift, and on the back you can see this nice chrome lining right here. Nice windows with a black outlining. This side is identical to the other side, and he has this dark blue cap on. Sorry for the bad quality, guys. I'm gonna try to put it back up. There, okay, there we go. And also, as you can see, he has a nice black base. You see a code right there, and very, very nice. Pretty basic, just regular normal Guido, just with the tool gun. And as you can see, now let's move on to the tires. So here's a. Here's the tires, and as you can see, they are pretty much identical to the other ones, I believe. Fortunately, they are lacking the Lightyear logo on the tires. They are the correct size, so that's good. But unfortunately, as you can see, they still have the hole where a pity would stab, or Greedo in this case, would stab his fork into the tire and carry it around like that. I mean, it's nice, I guess, but I mean, very unrealistic because, I mean... They would put it on their forks, but, I mean, you couldn't even do that. They didn't have the hole there because, I mean, his drill's already there, so he wouldn't be able to carry it. Otherwise, it was still, still shouldn't have that hole right there, so I'm not sure why they didn't correct it. And these tires are basically the same. There might be a slight variation in the coloring of the rim, but basically pretty much the same. And now let's move on to the cool, I mean, two car, or the cool two car. That's what I'm thinking now. Anyway, as you can see, it does match the design for the Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen. As you can see, it has the 95 in red with a gold lightning bolt. And very, very nice. Love how they changed it to match the Rusty's Racing Center design. And that's pretty much it. The rest was identical. You can see the chrome lining for the tool and stuff like that. 
and that's it for Guido. We don't know where he's going to appear with this stuff. And in the beach scenes we've seen, we have not seen Guido with this stuff. We have seen Guido, we just haven't seen him with these tool cards and tools, basically. So now let's move on to... Guido with, I mean, Luigi with checkered flag. So as you can see right here, he has his nice, happy expression. Looks very happy, of course. He's ending off the race at the beach because he's holding a checkered flag. And the checkered flag is the end of the race, and they wave it, obviously, just like in NASCAR and other racing things in real life. And you can see some of his inner mouth like there. I love the detail. And right here is kind of a grill-type thing or a logo, and it's kind of like a mustache, in my opinion. Normally, whenever he smiles, it kind of goes up a little bit. Normally, I noticed that from the Cars 1 movie and some of the die casts. And the checker flag is nice. It has that nice curve to it, which is accurate. kind of moves around, but I would not move around that much because it might break off. And I would not want that to happen. And I doubt you guys would want that to happen as well. And as you can see, he has nice flat eyelids, brown eyes. He has his nice little hair top thing right here. I'm not sure why he has hair on top. It might be a flat. He has a Fiat 500. And on the back, his license plate reads 445-10.8. And my camera focuses right there. And he has his nice window as well. So here he is compared to the Cars 1 Luigi. And as you can see, there might be a slight different variation. Oh, wait. Wait a minute. Is this me or does he look a little bit bulkier on the newer version? Or maybe that's just how my camera is right now. But don't you guys think the one with the checkered flag looks to be a little bit wider? I mean, the hoods look different. I mean, this one looks wider. Wow, they actually changed the... Did they change the width? I'm not sure about that, guys. But it definitely looks like that. It feels like... I mean, for some reason, it looks like the hood's a lot wider on the Guido with checkered... Luigi with checkered flag oh, from the Cars 1, Luigi. Sorry I keep calling him Guido for some reason. For some reason, I always do that. But anyway, what, let me know what you guys think about that. He kind of looks to be a little bit more white on the hood for some reason. But anyway, I'll give it 360s of these cars so you can see the comparison. So that's pretty much it for Guido. I mean, Luigi with checkered flag. I got to keep remembering that, guys. I keep saying Guido for some reason. But I'll try my best to keep saying Luigi. So that's it for Luigi with checkered flag. And he did appear in the trailer starting off the race. Although he did not have the checkered flag. He had a green flag. So maybe they can release a Luigi with green flag. We'll just have to wait and see. Now let's move on to Sandy Cruz Ramirez. So this is the first look at Sandy Cruz Ramirez. Me and that... She is not exclusive to this set. It's just a first look. They do mention that. So basically, this is the first time you're going to be able to get Sandy Cruz Mirror. Not exclusive because it doesn't stay down the box. It says first look along with the Sandy Rusty's Racing Center LM. But anyway, let's get right into the review of Sandy Cruz Mirrors. So, as you can see, she has this nice, happy expression on her face. You can see her eyelashes right there that represents whether a car is female or male. For the most part, all of the female cars, you know, have the eyelashes. And she has nice brown eyes, flat eyes, nice glossy yellow paint. And she is not a Corvette, despite her reminding me of one. And as you can see, she has the nice headlights. And, like I said, a very awesome glossy finish to her. And she has the Rusty's Racing Team 95 logo on the side. Sorry for the bad quality of the video. I know this isn't the best, but I'm trying my best to get it on good quality. And you can see more inner detail. You can see the sand rushing up on the sides of her. And even her tires are completely covered in sand as well as the base, which I really, really like. And as you can see, if you look through the whole way, even the back, they made the back portion have some sand on it. Her license plate reads C01-068, and it looks like she comes from Texas in the Cars world, which is the car fight state of the real state in the United States in real life, Texas. Really, really nice, and there's her car logo right there, by the way. I'm not sure what model she is. I think she's a custom-made Home, may, custom made car, I think, or I don't know. I think there's actually a car like her in real life. I'm not entirely sure. I'm not that car expert guy, despite me loving the cars movies. But anyway, as you can see, it's very hard to tell, but there is some coating on the base. And that's pretty much it for Sandy Cruz Ramirez. And here she is compared to regular Cruz Ramirez, and they look to be identical. The 
expression might be slightly different. Her eyelashes are a little bit more thicker on the regular one than the sandy version. As you see, her eyelashes right here, they look to be a little bit more thicker. This one's definitely a little bit more thinner. And other than that, they look basically the same. Other, Like, like I said... Other than that, pretty much the same, same license plate, obviously. And the actually, the back windows look to be a different color, but I guess you can expect that. And I'll give it three sixties of these two. So now let's move on to the last and final one, which is... Sandy Rusty's Racing Center, Lightning McQueen. And like the regular Rusty's Racing Center, Lightning McQueen, he is a first look to a set. So far, only released in a set. So far, actually, Rusty's Racing Center, Lightning McQueen is actually available as a single. But nonetheless, these two, the Rusty's Racing Center design so far is a Target exclusive. Despite it not being a Target exclusive, this one is not a Target exclusive. But so far, any McQueen which has been released with the Rusty's paint job has only been released at Targets. So anyway, let's get right into the review. So as you can see, he has this awesome internal expression, ready to start training and trying to beat the next generation rookies like Jackson Storm. And as you can see, he has this nice gold design to the Rusty's right there. And on the roof edges, you have his name, Lightning McQueen. 95 on top, Lightning McQueen again right here. And he's basically metallic and gold, which I love the paint job looks very good and in the gold right here very hard to see but in the gold it does say rusties and right here you have the 95 logo again and you can see some sand rushing up like upsplash of the sand coming from the sides of him and his tires are completely sandy and they did put the light your logo on them which is accurate i would assume it's accurate so great job mattel for that and he has the rusties logo on his spoiler right here going through the tire spoiler and right here, you have Rusty's 95. And the Rusty's, the R in Rusty's is kind of covered from the lightning bolt. But whatever. And as you can see, you have some more sand coming up from the sides right here. Pretty much like identical to the way Cruises is. And he obviously has blue eyes with flat eyelids. Here he is compared to the regular Rusty's Racing Center Light McQueen. You can definitely see the difference when you look on the side. But if you look at them like this, they look to be too... Of the same thing, but the one's sandy and one's not basically. So I don't think that this is the same thing. And here they are both together. They do have the same expression, unfortunately. They did not change it. Well, I wish they did, but I'm fine with it. And let me know in the comments down below if you prefer Sandy Rusty's Racing Center Light McQueen or Rusty's Racing Center Light McQueen, the regular version. And I'll give it three sixties of these two. So that's going to end up the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. And let me know in the comment section down below who is your favorite from this gift pack. And anyway, hope you guys did enjoy. Thank you all for your support. And I'll see you guys all next time in the next vid. Peace out.